Okay, um, everybody I think has a wish list. And of course I do. And even I never thought about I will have only one wish in my life. 12 years ago, I have seen something similar to this picture, where it's actually changed my life as an engineer. It's actually what is my wish, or would this be one of my wish at some time? I thought, yes, it would be. And what I have really prepared for myself and for our community and our beloved ones, who could really be disabled and who could really suffer from different diseases, and how can I really develop myself and develop the community and to help or to use what I have really learned in my degree and how I can really apply what I have really learned in real life. So I have done a lot of things in math. I love math, I love science, but I don't know and I have always been waiting how I could really apply this in real life. I thought real life it could be just to actually do some maintenance or to develop some computers or do different machines. Yes, of course, this is something important and we need to use it. I love technology, and I do a lot in technology as well. But I think there is a lot of things going on nowadays. We live longer, and there's a lot of diseases, and we could really be, suffer from something, and it could be me sometime, at some time in this life. So what I have really prepared for myself and for my beloved ones, again. So this is where I thought, okay, how can I really use technology to improve, my, to, to improve our community and our healthcare system? So I was thinking about, okay, actually physical disability, it's not easy anywhere around the world. So people who suffer with any physical disability, so they want not just to, to recover, to help them to recover and to be active or something like this, it's also about rehabilitate them, which is to help them to build the confidence and to believe, to believe in themselves. So this is really something important. And this is where I thought, okay, I have such, te such a strong technical ability to use the virtual reality, which could really motivate people to really do some different exercises and even exercises to become a fun, rather than just something boring where physiotherapists just give people some exercises to do at home. But everything, it's really in our brain. It's our brain. It's helped us to, 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 to believe what we are doing and helps us to understand what we are doing and why we are doing different things. So, and the virtual reality, it's also linked to our brain. So, because whatever we see, it's also in our brain. And the virtual reality is like to help you to immerse there. Somehow, I actually developed, or I took all the technology, all, all, all the theory of my uh, understanding to the virtual rehabilitation and virtual reality, and I developed my first virtual rehabilitation system ever in the UK. It was in the, at the University of Surrey. So this system, it was basically for children with cerebral palsy. Children with cerebral palsy, sometimes they have the ability to, to, to do different activities, but they don't believe in themselves as well. So this is what I use, this picture shows like the virtual, the, the children with cerebral palsy, they are, were able actually to do different activities where in, in, uh, in, in when, when actually some avatars are around them dancing. And this built the confidence for them to go outside and to do different activities, so, and even to communicate with their community. So this is where the virtual reality helps a lot of people really to do different things. Now, since then I moved to Cardiff, and here what we have in Cardiff, this lovely technology. And I'm really using this technology nowadays with age-related diseases. So. Age-related diseases like arthritis. So actually, pe these people, sometimes they, they suffer from the reality. They, they always complain about pains. Pain actually is something it's in the brain. It's not simple, but we can really help them in virtual reality to do different things. So I developed a novel application where people actually, oh, I distracted, pe uh, distracted them to believe that they can't do it. And then they can do it in context, in game context. And when they saw themselves they're doing this, they couldn't believe they did it. And this is where I thought virtual reality could also actually help them to translate what they are learning in virtual world into real world. And this is where technology could really be useful. So this is here where I'm also in this picture here, what I'm showing is how to take the virtual reality even to clinical side and even to home settings. So 
Everybody, I think, or we, we, all of us, we know there is a lot of gaming technology around us. I always think about how can I really use the technology. And this is where we can really use technology, like a gaming context in rehabilitation. Some people, sometimes they think about virtual uh, technology, it would never be related to the age-related diseases. But I think if we keep thinking about our time now, so yes, it could be this is correct, but our future, I think when I'm retired, I think rather than to be doing something in the garden, I will play a game. And I think this is where technology could help us in the future. Thank you. Well done, sir. Great work, well done.